When Brie Larson was a child, she was homeschooled by her parents. She was very close with her mother, but was painfully shy and suffered from social anxiety. She always struggled to make friends and felt like an outsider. She was worried about being different. I was worried about my body and my face and my voice. I felt plagued that I didn't dress or talk the same way as other people. I wasn't interested in the same things. At the age of six, she expressed interest in becoming an actress. When she was seven, Brie Larson experienced a traumatic period of her life when her parents got divorced. After her dad asked for divorce and left her mother shattered, Brie's very dysfunctional relationship with her father began and still lasts. Soon after the divorce, Brie, her sister and her mother moved to Los Angeles to fulfill her acting career. They were very poor and lived in a very small apartment. We had a crappy one-room apartment where the bed came out of the wall and we each had three articles of clothing. I had no toys and I had like two shirts and a pair of jeans and that was it. Her mother tried to hide her pain from her children. She was holding her hand over her mouth, trying not to wake us up with these guttural sobs. Brie Larson had huge difficulties as a young woman in Hollywood trying to win meaningful roles. I wasn't pretty enough to be the pretty girl, but I wasn't pretty plain enough to play the nerds. Nobody knew what to do with me. I doubted myself a lot. I started auditioning when I was seven, and I wasn't getting anything until like two years ago, but I was broke my whole life. How her life changed. Brie Larson was really desperate to land fulfilling roles. She spent much of her time making independent movies and struggling for money. Her path to success was really slow. In 2013 was the first time she ever led a major motion picture with the drama Short Term 12. Her performance in this movie made it clear that Brie Larson is a very talented actress. But the defining role of her career came in 2015 with the movie Room, where she plays a woman who is held captive in a shed for years and desperately tries to take care of her son. Her amazing performance earned Larson a Best Actress Oscar and opened doors for many exciting projects in the future. About the exciting projects, we will see her in the upcoming movies Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame. Brie Larson's role in Room brought her Oscar glory, but little did she know that she prepared for that role 20 years ago. Brie used a painful experience from her parents' divorce to prepare for her role in Room. How she used the pain from her past and won an Oscar. For me, Room is an opportunity to relieve an aspect of my childhood that I hadn't put a ton of thought into. Suddenly, I was able to, in some ways, relieve my childhood from my mom's perspective and see how she loved and protected me in a ways I never noticed. This motivational success story shows that behind every successful person there are thousands of failures that no one can see. For Brie Larson, her career path wasn't easy. She had a difficult childhood, was insecure and broke almost her entire life. I'm still feeling insecure all the time and most of my life has been massive failures. It's just that now we only really talk about the successes. I failed for like 99% of my career. It's only in the last couple of years where I've had a few successes and now suddenly I seem like a success story. I don't even think I can be honest with myself with how many auditions I've gone on my life and almost all of them I didn't get. We are talking about tens of thousands of auditions. Every day, millions of people rest in their graves with their big dreams buried with them because they believed in the boundaries that others set for them, because they continued to make excuses to support the idea that they're losers, that they're not good enough, they can't be successful, so why bother trying? Many people will likely do the same. One day you'll wake up in your deathbed filled with remorse because you were scared your whole life. You were scared to chase your dream. You were scared of failure. You were scared to live. 
Don't let that person be you. Failures are part of life. Giving yourself a chance to try and fail is way better than not doing anything at all. The universe has lots of opportunities for those who are brave enough to survive the training and face the failures. Overcome what scares you the most. Let go of your fears. Believe that you can become the person that you want to be and start working on your dreams today. Fear is not a choice. What you do with it, it is.